spring is just around the corner and that means a lot of school kids are looking forward to summer vacation. For students and staff at Roosh Elementary School in the Applegate Valley, the end of the school year will be a special time to celebrate. In tonight's Oregon Trails, News Watch 12's Ron Brown looks back at the last hundred years or more and what has made this small rural school a special place for all these years. For a hundred years now, Applegate School is nestled in a grove of oak trees overlooking the Applegate Valley. It's not the first school kids in the area attended, but over the last century, it has survived several attempts to close and relocate. And now it's celebrating its 100th anniversary. Edward Hawkins moved here in the early 30s as a fourth grader. And then I went to fifth grade, and I was the only one in the fifth grade. So the teacher advanced me to the sixth grade, got the approval of my parents to do that. And uh, so then that's where I met my wife. She was in the sixth grade also. Really? Yeah. As a fifth grader, he also got a job as the school janitor, cleaning floors and blackboards and keeping the big wood stove fueled up. He was paid $5 a month. One of the things in those days, they taught reading, writing, arithmetic, history, and geography. They didn't have all the computers and stuff like that. Hawkins and Russell Mee went to Roosh School in the 30s and are two of the oldest living alumni. Mee says besides playing baseball and Cowboys and Indians, one of the favorite playground games was the big slide. Well, that was the main thing they played on was a, a big slide because it, it went up about 10 feet or a good 10 feet, I guess. And uh, we, everybody used the slide mostly because it was kind of fun going down. Sure. There were two outhouses on opposite sides of the schoolhouse, one for boys, the other for girls, and there was a woodshed. The concrete block schoolhouse is actually the third roof school. An earlier frame building replaced the cabin structure on the same site that was built in the early 1870s. This building was in pretty poor shape when the community came together in 1913 to build a concrete block school building. A cement mixture was set up on the site and molded blocks poured and cured right there. The building was completed in December of 1913. The dedication of the concrete block structure came in May of the next year. It's changed quite a bit over the years and for most of the pre-World War II years was a one-teacher school. For just two years before World War I, there was a two-year high school. For this area, they all, most of them were uh, from out here went to Jacksonville. And at that time, Jacksonville had a, a basketball team and stuff. In 1959, Jacksonville and Roosh merged with the Medford School District, creating Medford District 549C, consolidated. Another student from the 60s says many Applegate families have had generations of children attending here. I do have grandchildren here. I had my children here. I have my son here with me today, my youngest son. We serve about 77% of the Medford School District geographical areas, which means that our families go um, as far as the California border. An iron bar now grown into a couple of oak trees below the school is a reminder of simpler times on the playground. The old building now is largely surrounded by more recent additions and Principal Julie Hill says other changes are coming for the centennial celebration. We have a, a cupola that's going to be constructed for our 100 year old bell and we're going to place it back on top of the building where it should be. It's obvious that a lot has changed in 100 years since the old Roosh Elementary School was originally built. But one thing that hasn't changed is the sense of community that keeps this school together. In Roosh, Ron Brown, Newswatch 12. The Roosh School Centennial Celebration will be Saturday, May 17th, and will include a day of games, food, and activities all around that historic school, both inside and outside. I know that's about two months away. <laughs>